Hello everybody, my name is Kindo and today we are going on to part 3 of this Beyblade X series. In this video we'll be learning about Beyblade launchers. Launchers are a pivotal tool to make a Beyblade spin. We're gonna go over all the stuff about launchers, but first we're gonna teach you how to put your Beyblade on a launcher. First grab your Bayon launcher and align the holes indicated here, prongs on the launcher here. Then turn the bay opposite of the prongs. There you go. I do recommend not to shake the bay as well on the launcher. It'll just fall off. He also fixed the problem with the winders where people would just click the winders. So like if you turn it all the way and it makes a click sound, they fixed that because everybody like for the past three generations, I believe has been doing that and it's wearing down the teeth close to those launchers. They fixed it by adding this little gap here on the winder itself, the rip cord, not the winder, but the rip cord. There are three launcher types out there with two left variants, one already being out and one coming in a set. We have a mini winder, a regular sized winder, and a string launcher. We'll go over these launchers starting with the mini winder. The mini winder is a small winder with five to five and a half rotations. It is probably the worst launcher that you can use during battle. Unless you manage to snag some wins with that launcher, it is considered the worst launcher ever. It consists of two parts, the winder and the ripcord. The ripcord is a long piece of plastic that either has a hole or a grip to, you know, pull. In this case with the mini winder, it has a grip design. The winder is the main body of the launcher, essentially where you put the bay in and the ripcord in. It has the prongs at a part to insert the ripcord indicated with an arrow. Next is the regular winder. The regular winder is a winder launcher that has a rotation of eight and a half. It is a good launcher to have if you don't have any other launchers. Despite its rotation count, I think it's pretty powerful if paired with attack type Beyblades. But it has a downside being less controllable. You also have to put a lot of power into a launch when using this launcher. Regular winders come in all different colors for both the winder and the ripcord. To insert the ripcord into the winder, make sure to align the ripcord to the arrow and text that says IN in all caps. The ripcord for the regular winder has a hole design on it where you can just put a finger in and pull there will be a left variant coming out specifically for Dragoon and the way it works is probably just flip the winder to the other side, the right side to, you know, make it go left spin. And that comes to our last piece of launcher, which is the string launcher. The string launcher utilizes a string rather than a ripcord to launch your bay. With a string launcher, you can maximize the bay's potential without even trying compared to its winder brethren. String launchers are friendly to all bladers, regardless of their strength, making it the perfect launcher. String launchers may not have a lot of power compared to the winder, but you do have more control over your bay. The string launcher has a rotation count of 11 and a half, which is more than the winder. I think that is all that I can talk about the launchers that are out. Future me here, I forgot to mention that there is a left variant of the string launcher and that comes in the starter BX34 Cobalt Dragoon. So if you want to grab that, go ahead and grab it. Since we are done with the launchers, let's talk about the accessories that come with the launcher. There's only one accessory for launchers and I hope there's more and those are the grips. The grips themselves do have accessories for them. There are four places where you can put these grip accessories two on the sides and one on the top and bottom you do have to buy the grips themselves to get those grip accessories like these two right here on the screen but i don't think that will be much of a problem unless you're tight on money if you're trying to launch a grip around there is text close to the top that says lock there's also a little black bar above it that you can pull down when you pull it down text will appear that says open keep in mind that this is spring loaded so if you let go, it'll spring back up. Putting the grip on the launcher is as easy as putting a square block in the square hole. First, you pull down the black bar so you can see the open text. Next, you line up the female notch on the grip launcher to the male notch on the launcher of your choice, except for mini winders because they're tiny. Lastly, push it down until you can't push it in anymore and let go of the black bar. And kaboom, your grip is attached to your launcher. Picking out the grip from the launcher is just what I explained, but in reverse. So that is all I have for the launcher section of this series. In the next video, we'll be talking about stadium. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.